Miss Shannon Andrews. Good, after good afternoon, everyone. I love that she put the added pressure for all of you to like clap for me when she said, no. <laughs> don't you just love her? When the reality is that most people love procurement until it comes time to get a PO or something. So uh, I want to say uh, thank you for having me. Now, the thing about it is for any of those of you who have seen me at other speaking engagements, I'm not particularly shy and I love to talk about procurement. And so when they gave me the call to say that you need to go stand in for the president at the IT function, and I've been to this event before, I'm like, and Simona will attest to this, I can barely turn on my computer, truth be told. I'm like, they don't really want to hear from me. Uh, but Ellen, uh, it, who is forever charming, uh, convinced me that um, I'd, I'd, be, I'd do well in terms of sitting in for the president in, uh, when the president calls. Uh, I serve at the pleasure. So it is actually an honor and a pleasure to be here with you guys today. Now, you will also see me do something that I don't typically do because I reached out to Simona to get a few IT talking points to impress you today. Um, although I can do a really good, why don't we take the 2-3 two, the two, line up to the cloud and then bring it back through the server that's located on the mainframe. Are you impressed? This being right here is like, uh, I'm sold. Um, so first of all, uh, but again, I don't know if that's because of my charm or because I signed the POs, but well, that's another story. That's another story. So let me go back to my official remarks. Uh, on behalf of Cook County Board President Tony Preckwinkle, I want to thank GTF. Um, like I said, they have been great partners and friends of ours. The president actually recalled uh, with me yesterday when we were going over this that uh, she was on board for the inaugural event, which I think may have been at the Federal Reserve uh, Northern Trust, Northern Trust yeah. uh, when she first came on board, uh, when she was first elected to office, uh, and she was really disappointed that she couldn't be here today, again, uh, due to a death in her family. Uh, they had to change quite a few things around on her uh, agenda, but again, you got me, it's not a bad. And on top of that, after the uh, Honorable Dorothy Brown and uh, Commissioner Steele, it ain't a bad, it ain't a bad show from the county. Um, I also wanna say a really special thank you to Ellen and Poonam. I'm certain that you guys know this, but I mean, they are really fearless in terms of the fight and the effort that they put up in terms with government agencies to ensure that we are always aware of the opportunities to partner with varied, diverse uh, IT vendors. Um, I think both with Ellen and Poonam, I've seen from the largest IT firms to those folks who are just getting started, um, a unique perspective and understanding of the challenges that we have in government in terms of, we're always really clear of what we want at the tail end. Sometimes it's a bit fuzzy in between, and then you throw in procurement and our pesky rules and regulations and processes. They have been wonderful in terms of ensuring that we are, we have a continuous uh, conversation and dialogue about ways that we can continue to be better partners. So I really wanna say a, a special thank you to both Ellen and Poonam. Um, I'd also, again, be remiss not to acknowledge my dear friend and mentor, Commissioner Steele, who from my very first day uh, at Cook County, uh, uh, took me uh, under his wing and has uh, showed uh, special leadership to me, especially in his role as the uh, compliance chair uh, for the board. Um, and there's not a month, I would say, that doesn't go by where he is not actively involved in making certain that the procurement process uh, remains not only transparent and fair, but that people are aware of the contracting opportunities that exist um, at Cook County. So thank you, sir. Um, and as always, the Honorable uh, Dorothy Brown, Dorothy Brown, while she and I don't work directly together, her girl Bridget and I spend a lot of time together because she's the person who's in my office and with Simona and I making certain that we, I mean, it really is a great partnership in terms of making certain that we're trying to make the procurement process easier for you, but also outlining, uh, outlining the opportunities that are coming up. You know, I always like to start off by saying I think that you are all in a really unique position in terms of Cook County and IT opportunities. I've told this story before, so bear with me if it's redundant for some of you, but in my days at uh, 
City Hall. I actually started out under Barbara Lumpkin, worked for Montel Gales, ended my career there with Jamie Ree. Um, when IT firms would come to talk to us, we were on the back end of having spent a lot of money, having invested a lot of money in IT systems in good, bad, or ugly, whether they were perfect or not so perfect. We'd spent a lot of money and we were stuck with it. And so people would come with new ideas and we want to partner in this way and we would have to say, we've done it. The money spent, we just invested eight, 10, 13 million dollars. It's gonna be a while before we purchase at that level again. When I came over to the county, um, again, under President uh, Preckwinkle's leadership, uh, and of course the Board of Commissioners, uh, we've been really committed to upgrading a lot of antiquated systems. And so you may say to yourself, why would she choose procurement over uh, the Bureau of Technology to speak to you today? Well, first of all, because you're gonna be lucky enough to hear from our amazing CIO, Simona Rollins, and a little bit later today, she's gonna to be on the panel. But the reality is that procurement is a critical partner in our efforts to help make the, partner, the future partnerships with you work. Because as quiet as it's kept, it's really not that quiet, because I wanna see everybody shake their head when I say this. Government procurement is different than most. We've got these pesky laws, rules, and regulations. You know, you don't get to shop, and I know that you all know this, you don't get to shop for what you need in government in the same way that you do at home. You just go online, you see it, it fits, it looks great, you like the color, it's what I want, I think the price is good. Well, I've got codes and laws and federal regulations, local regulations, state regulations, all of that governs the process. And so my job, my role is, a, you know, I've also said this, I am a jack of all things and a master of none in terms of the things that we buy. But what I know and what I do well is the process. I am committed um, to ensure that the president's commitment to transparent, open, honest processes exist. Um, one of the reasons why I have an open door policy is because I don't know what I don't know. So when Simona and Bridget and those guys come to me and say, this is what I want, I know how to package it up and get it out to you. But sometimes I don't, you know, when they're talking about the T319 line, I have to take them at face value because I really don't know, despite the fact that you were really impressed that I said it. I really don't know. And so it's always helpful when vendors come in to say, you know, you put out a solicitation and here are the challenges or the problems. The reason why you didn't get any responses is because of this. Uh, you know, you can come and say things in a safe space in procurement that perhaps you don't get to say to the folks who will be the end user. And then I'm able to help facilitate and master the dialogue between our end users, our partners, and the process. And that is really critical and important as we continue to invest, uh, quite frankly, millions of dollars into updating uh, some very antiquated uh, systems. And so uh, one of the things I wanted to make certain that you were aware of, since you're kind of stuck with me, is that we're committed in procurement to trying to find ways to make your attempts to be partners with the county as efficient and to be as speedy as we can in the process. But most importantly, as taxpayers, we want you to have faith in the process. I'm okay, and I get that in a competitive process, and that's what it is, make no mistake about it, um, I always bristle when there's not competition. I love to see a tab sheet with five, six, 10, 12 names. It, it really gets me excited when there's only one or only two people show up to the pre-bid conference. I'm asking questions. I need to know what was wrong. Because I know you want to make money and I'm telling you we're going to spend it. So if you're not interested, I'm really intrigued to know more about why not. But in terms of being a partner to help get you there, it's really critical that you keep us informed of where and how we can do a better job to be a preferred place of doing business. And what I'm gonna tell you is that I haven't read not one of the great talking points that Simona gave me, because <laughs> it would not be believable anyway, so I'm gonna let her talk about all of the good IT stuff and just again impress upon all of you that the county is open and ready to do business with all sorts of folks. We're committed not only to the MWBE program, we're committed to local vendors, 
we're committed to making certain that the county can be the best that it can be in terms of delivering services and staying true to the mission as outlined, uh, or, or as the president outlined when she first came on board uh, with Cook County, and as the 17 board commissioners keep us uh, honest to as well. So again, I want to thank the GTF for being such strong partners with that and making certain that we have access to vendors uh, such as yourself so that we can continue the dialogue to ensure that as we make changes at Cook County that we're doing it in an effective way. So um, it is true. Um, I often give out my phone number and my card and I tell people if you want to come in, if you want to talk about the process, if you want to tell me what is or is not working on a current contract, on a bid solicitation, provided that it's not advertised. That's really key. I will not talk to you about anything that's currently on the street. But if you want to talk about any of our past contracts, any of our upcoming contracts, please, I encourage you to see me or pick up a business card. Um, I tend to return phone calls late in the evening. I see a couple of folks here who I've had conversations with after 6.30 or 7, but I am more than happy to have you come in. I believe strongly that it's not an honor or privilege to uh, meet with your uh, public officials or people who are in departments because the truth is I work for you. It's your tax dollars that pay my salary and I am committed to ensuring that the process is better um, and I want to thank you again for having me today. Again, Simona, the floor is wide open for all these talking points you gave me because I didn't say any of them. So thank you. Thank you for having me.